Today I was at a hydroponics store. It's a store I go to, a couple friends of mine own and run it. And uh, I go there sometimes to buy soil, nutrient supplies. It's called Ingrown Gardens in West Lebanon, New Hampshire. And I was there and they happened to have some cocoa core fiber mats. And they had them marked down to, uh, they were 27 bucks normally, and they had them marked down to 20% off. So I was looking them over and I thought, eh, you know, I'm kind of in this hydroponic experiment phase. So I thought, why not give these a shot? You know, I did the, the bio straight fiber before. So I was looking at them and there, there's two mats. They're two foot by two foot. And they're one inch thick though, which for microgreens, you do not need one inch thick mats. So as I was looking at them further though, I, I happen to notice they kind of split and you can get like a, uh, a half inch mat, which would be, I think, perfect for microgreens. So I'm going to try to split them the rest of the way and see maybe there's four mats in here and they're uh, half inch thick instead of one inch thick. So, one of the main reasons I'm doing this, though, has nothing to do with cost savings, because I, I think this is too expensive. Because I, soil normally costs me about, sorry, I'm just untying this, separating them. Soil, I, I price out about a dollar a tray, is what I expect to spend on soil. And so, if this worked out to more than a dollar a tray, then it's just flat out not worth it for me. But I'm kind of leaning towards doing a little bit more hydroponic work while I'm indoors throughout the winter, especially, because it's just easier to deal with. I don't have to clean the trays as much or as aggressively. You know, it's a lot easier to, to wash out a tray that only had a mat in it than a tray that had soil in it. And so, yeah, that's something I'm looking at. And so the cost wasn't a big factor because I I really just want to experiment and see what it's going to be like. So I just removed the packaging from these two mats. And I want to see if I can actually split them down the middle the way they looked like they were already trying to split themselves. Try to show you as I'm doing it. So it's, it's almost like they actually were two half inch mats and they just kind of stuck them together and called them one inch mats because now I have two mats that are perfect and uniform, about, about half inch thick each. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, I just doubled what I could get out of this. So now I have four two by two mats instead of two. And for microgreens, that's all you're gonna need. So let's see if I can split this other mat. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. Same thing. It just split apart like it was supposed to be two mats. So that's sweet. I'm happy about that. So now for my 20 bucks or so, I got four mats instead of two. Now I'm just going to cut these up, now that I have all four of them, which is still amazing that they split up that perfectly. And I'm going to put them in these trays, instead of my normally 10 by 20s These are trays I got for free from a restaurant that I del deliver to, and uh, they get their fish products or seafood in these trays, and they've been washed, and this one's a little bit dirty, but it's still clean enough. I've used it a few times. So I'm going to cut these up enough to do several of those and from there we will carry on. I cut up two of the mats, two of the four, because you know there's four instead of two. And out of the two mats I got six mats to fill these trays, which they're not quite 10 by 20 but they're, they're pretty close, a little bit wider than than the 10 but a little bit shorter than the 20 and then I have enough scrap pieces that I could easily you know formulate enough to make 
a tray for another mat. So let's say that's seven. And if I can do that again with these other two mats, I'll get 14 mats. So in soil costs, that would be about 14 trays worth at a dollar a tray, which means that this has a value to me of about $14. And it was 26, but I got 20% off. So it's pretty close. I mean, it's probably a dollar 25 a tray instead of a dollar. And that's really not a big deal. It's definitely worth playing around with and experimenting. I'm going to only cut up these six mats for now. That's enough for me to, you know, do a nice experiment. And I'll hold on to these for a uh, rainy, snowy, whatever day. Maybe I'll learn something from these ones and want to apply it to these ones. I've still got a ton of soil too, so I don't have to grow everything in these to start off. So I'll, I'll hold on to all this. Today we'll just get started with these. I've got about two gallons of water. I'm guesstimating on that in this bucket. I'm going to use my Maxi Grow. And it's one to two tablespoons per gallon of water. That's one of the things I like about this because it's one to two tablespoons. That's saying that it's not that critical if your mix is exact and it comes with a little spoon in it one end is a tablespoon or a teaspoon and the other one I think is a tablespoon Let's see what that setting I think it says teaspoon per yeah so one to two teaspoons not tablespoons so I'll put about two of these in there this stuff's kind of hardened up on me a little bit that's pretty close dump that in there somehow it got kind of damp and now yeah, we'll dump that in there that will be about right so if that's a little bit more than two teaspoons then that's fine because you could do up to four in a gallon and these plants aren't going to need a lot of nutrients because they're not going to be plants, they're going to be microgreens. And I'll just mix that all up. Just going to take my mats and I'm going to just kind of soak them right in. Never used this product before, so I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but let's see if I can get them a bunch of them all in here at once. Let them just kind of soak a little bit. I've got all six trays that have mats in them. And this isn't like the felt. This isn't going to really hold water very well. So what I'm going to do is dump a peaceful cup in each tray before I try to plant and then after I spread the seeds on I will go ahead and mist them all really heavily with water to make sure they're good and wet. These are the seeds I will be planting. I will be doing a Hongvit radish, red garnet mustard, a Rambo radish, spicy salad mix, spicy oriental mustard, and a Swiss chard. Now, I don't know how any of these are going to be doing on that type of medium. I know Swiss chard, I, this is a rainbow mixture. I struggle with this really bad. I have a really hard time getting a good crop. And I don't have high hopes for it in this application. But I figured what the heck, I'll use it. Give it a shot. So I'm going to spread all this seed out. And I'm not going to show me doing it because you've seen that a million times. Just like you've heard a million times, I get my seeds through True Leaf Market. And you can find my link in the description if you want to use my affiliate link to purchase seeds. And I will update you as this goes. So once I unstack them, I feel like they're ready to unstack. I'll do an update then and continue updating as I go. If you think that this is going to be an interesting experiment, then please subscribe and 
hit the little bell so you get notifications whenever I make a new video. Thanks for watching, guys.